I'm Dr. Suleiman S. Conte from Sierra Leone, West Africa, presently in India, under the sponsorship of Mac Foundation Program for Africa. Um, I'm very delighted to be part and parcel of the Mac Foundation team. Um, I may count myself very lucky as to be the first clinician from Sierra Leone to be part and parcel of this program. Actually, so far, it's a good initiative from the Mac Foundation. It's really, really helps. Um, when you take a look, more for us as Africans, I think um, our fertility issue is of big concern. And still, there are lots more to be done. And presently, the initiative by Mac Foundation to actually try to groom or mentor some of these African um, clinicians who are the current um, lead or will be the future leaders in terms of management of health, I think it's really, really good. In Sierra Leone, we have so many challenges relating to fertility issues, um, ranging from the lack of knowledge to even the not considering the illiterate population. Um, it's very, very, very difficult, you know. Um, ranging issues like sensitization, I think, is a key instrument for us in back home because most people do not actually know what it means and what and what encompasses this um, infertility. You know, back home, we have a saying, whenever a couple is married for more than two, three years and there is no child to show for that union, then all the blame will be cast on the female, which I think is not something good. And I think by sensitization, I mean, through mass campaign and public media, the radios and television shows will definitely help in reducing that trend. Um, it can be shocking to know, like, in Sierra Leone, when you talk about infertility, all the hands will be pointing towards the female and it's not something good you know as a clinician who has been exposed though recently i think is not the case it's totally a misconception and it's something that we actually need to tackle in sierra leone um a few scenarios might happen like this you know a couple can go into a hospital and if i may just reiterate it's like presently there is no fertility center in Sierra Leone, which I think is a big, big, big challenge for us. And as Sierra Leoneans, we need those um, facility. So it's just a kind request to Mac Foundation to see how best they can throw light on that, how best they can help with the aid of the Ministry of Health to see how they can set up a good, well-structured um, fertility center where we can actually try to manage some of these cases. So a uh, mere scenario in Sierra Leone can see a couple who had married for like three, four years with no um, outcome, I mean no childbearing. You will see all the hands, people will be saying negative things about the woman. Uh, the woman is the one that is barren. The woman is the one that has a cost. You know, they relate these things to so many issues. It's a traditional something. They have so many traditional beliefs when it comes to infertility, as just the woman will be the sole, sole um, person who is responsible for a uh, fertility issue. We are, I've seen now, it can be wrong. The male also has a great role to play. The male can be a factor. If there is an infertility in a couple. So you see, so we have so many of these challenges. Um, like even um, a family, family can break up just due to fertility issues. There are so many of those stories back home where a family have been separated. You know, the pressure will be on the male partner. Every one of his family will be calling him, telling him, oh man, you need to move on. You need to find another wife. This woman, this woman that is a barren. This woman might be having a cause from her family. This woman might be having so many issues that they will relate in the infertility issue to this particular woman, which in some cases might be the opposite, might be the male factor. 
that is solely responsible. So like I said, there are so many, many challenges. Many homes have been <coughs> devastated by this um, issue of fertility. And I think the biggest of all is the space. There is no fertility center in Sierra Leone, not to talk about um, good um, equipment that we can actually use to diagnose our fertility issue. So I think that's one of our main constraints and the sensitization, the conception of people out there is one-sided. So I think those two challenges are very critical. And then another main thing is the, in terms of personnel, you know, I'm a young clinician now, just started working and see an opportunity like this came up, so I grabbed it. Though I'm so um, excited and even want to know more about fertility issue, you know, when I was back in medical school, I have this zeal and zest for obstetric and gynecology. I always thought it would definitely be my calling. So when such opportunity arises, I have to grab it and then make good use of it. For a proper fertility management, there must be a scope of people that are directly responsible. You know, it's a chain. It's a food chain, sort of, you know. We have to move from the people working in the lab, the lab technicians, as I mean the embryologists, the andrologists, coming down to the clinicians and then other medical personnel that will be needed. And that is what is lacking back home, you know. The manpower is not there, the expertise are not there. So it's a big challenge for us, you know. So this is one of the main reasons which spur me up to actually come in. You know, presently back home, we do not have a specialist who can actually say, I'm a fertility specialist, purely and solely fertility specialist. It's not there. So this was one of the things that drive me forward to say, oh yes, let me grab this opportunity. Let me come and see how best I can go back home and then impact what I've gained from the IIRH program. So it's really difficult and I think it's an integral part for any further development relating to fertility issue that will happen back in Sierra Leone, the manpower, the manpower, so many issues with the manpower, lack of skilled personnel. You know, it's a chain, like I said, a fertility thing is a chain. You as a clinician, yeah, you'll be seeing the patients, but you have to send these patients for some investigations. These investigations have to be done by an expert also. So these people also need to have the idea, the basic foundations of fertility, so they can know what and what to look for, what and what parameters that we can check to actually help the clinician or the medical doctor in charge to actually do a proper diagnosis and by that, we come up with a proper management for such patients that will actually help. You know, when we're talking about fertility, fertility issue, it's not just a simple thing. It might look very, very simple, but it encompasses so many things. And um, with the challenges back home, it is very, very difficult for an individual, a sole individual, just like me, to go back home and say, I will come and do all related facility issues that won't be possible i need hands i need support i need more expatriates more colleagues who are well trained in all the other areas that encompasses the fertility issue like i said we need embryologists we need some other lab technicians some andrologists you know some sonographers who can actually interpret a good result which can help the clinician so you see so i'm also pleading please we need more, more men from Sierra Leone to actually be trained in these um, facility related issues. So by then we can put hands together and work as a team. It's a collective work, it's a teamwork. The manpower should definitely be there before even the infrastructure or other instruments can come into play. Because if you have infrastructure, all the good instruments to manage the fertility patients, and the personnel is not there, then it's no use. We must have the personnel fully trained first, have the basic knowledge, then we can have a fertility center set up wherein we can help the people who are definitely suffering in Sierra Leone. You know, 
um, back home, it's like a shy thing. So many people are shy to come forward. Like these, oh, I've been married for five, six years now. No child. We have been swearing, me and my husband, nothing. So many people are shy to come forward, you know, to explain to the general practitioner, you know, these complaints. It's difficult, actually. But if there is well-trained manpower, good personnel with expert sweet knowledge, then I think these people might come forward. Backing up with good sensitization, media campaigns and so on, you know, taking these things to even the school level, it will definitely lead to more impact and more knowledge to the people out there to know that actually fertility is a medical condition and definitely something can be done to help the couple to conceive. Upon um, receiving the invitation from Mac Foundation that oh, Dr. Suleiman, you have been selected to take part in a three months um, program under the IIRH Embryology for Africa. It was really excited and it left me with so many thinking, you know, back home then. I was like having sleepless nights, you know. I was asking myself, oh, I'm going over there to do some things related to fertility. What are my expectations? What and what do I expect to gather from those people which will impact the society where I'm coming from? Having known the great challenges that we do face in terms of fertility in Sierra Leone. Also, um, I think for incoming um, aspirants, uh, you know, future trainees, that's a simple message out there to them, you know. Coming more especially from Africa and Sierra Leone to be particular, we need to focus and need to grab this opportunity. To be honest, it's a lifetime opportunity and it will definitely expose you guys you know to different things trust me your expectations will be fully met and things will definitely go as well so all the embryologists the andrologists the clinicians will need to work as a team so we need to be focused when such opportunity is given to us we need to grab this opportunity with both hands and make good use of it so when we get back home, we will definitely impact the knowledge that we have gained from such program. So like basically in Sierra Leone, I think the most important thing for now that I will be embarking on, and I hope I will definitely have the support of Mark Foundation in doing this, is the sensitization of this um, fertility issue. The stigma that is there from even um, literate population, you know, the stigma that is there all fertility related issues just one-sided related to the female no we need to break that chain people need to know about fertility issue it's not something that they should be shy of so i think my first thing first thing i will do when i get back home is to do a massive sensitization to people let them know fertility issue is a medical issue this thing can be handled and can be handled only by well skinned personnel you know, by a team of trained personnel who can definitely handle such issues. So going back home, my first target will be on a massive sensitization, which I hope to have some help from Mac Foundation and even the Ministry of Health to see how best I can sensitize people, not just on the radios, but I will be even taking down to the schools, you know, down to the school level, so they will know. So from that stage on, they will have the conception, they will have their mindset that, oh, fertility-related issues are medical issues. Personally, on behalf of all the African students, not just from Sierra Leone, I want to say a big thanks to Mark Foundation for such an opportunity. It's a timely intervention. Um, I think this is the best time. It's the right time. I don't think we should have waited for any other time, you know, for such initiative initiatives to come up by Mac Foundation, you know, this is the right time and I want to say thank you and we'll definitely promise you guys that we'll definitely use all the knowledge and expertise that we have gathered from this program when we get back home to help our people 
and we will definitely, definitely make you proud. We promise that on behalf of all the African students who have had such opportunity and of those who will be having the opportunity in future to come and be part of this IIRRH MAC Foundation Sponsored Embryology Program for Africa will definitely utilize it well and when we get back home you will be definitely, definitely proud of us. Thank you.